Thanksgiving is over, your guests are all gone, and now you're stuck with leftovers. Don't throw out that ham bone that's still sitting on your counter. With a few ingredients and very little effort, this makes an excellent soup. So stick around and see how. First, you want to turn that ham bone into a broth. That's a really simple process. You take your ham bone and you put that ham bone into water and bring it to a boil. I've already preheated this water just to speed up the process a little. It doesn't have to be all the way up. Turn it around once or twice during the cooking process and you have a really nice intense flavored broth. Bring this to a boil, then turn it down to a simmer and let simmer for an hour to two. For the ingredients, there's not that many, but I'm gonna stuff this with a lot of vegetables. Frozen corn, frozen peas, a big carrot or two of them, an onion diced, three cloves of garlic and a couple of bay leaves, a can of white beans, northern or kidney beans. Of course, you need a bunch of your leftover ham. These are two small russet potatoes or use one large one. I'm quickly gonna chop these potatoes into bite-sized pieces. So much for the prep, let's get cooking. It's been about two hours that our broth has been simmering. This is the result. It smells fantastic. So I will push this aside and let's start to make our soup. This is gonna be quick business. Put on a pot, get that hot, add some olive oil. Add your onions and the carrots and let's saute that for just a minute or two and a pinch of salt once these are starting to get a little bit soft add your garlic and i'm tossing in my bay leaves as well pop in your potatoes and your beans and now give this some liquid Ladle in the broth. Of course, you can simply pass the broth through a colander and discard off the hand bone, and then it's much easier to fill that in. I'm just going to ladle it because, quite frankly, I'm too lazy to wash another colander. Bring that to a boil, reduce to a simmer, and now we're just going to simmer this for like 10 minutes maybe until the potatoes are done. Put a lid on. Let it simmer. It's been 10 minutes or so. I guess my potatoes are cooked. Squeeze test says yes. Now we're gonna add our ham. And we're gonna add the peas and the corn. Both come from frozen, so they essentially just need heating through. So does the ham. And there we have a nice large pot of soup That'll do us for a couple of days. Pull out the bay leaves if you haven't done so already. 